He's still alive. He got hit by a car. So I stopped my car to see if he's... The little raccoon, he was like laying on the road. I wasn't sure if he was alive still, so I was just slowly passing by him. And then as I was going around him, I noticed that his arm was up and his little arm was moving. I said, holy cow, he's alive. He was just like pathing and just not doing well. I just couldn't leave him there. He looked kind of small. So I remembered that and I have a top in the back of my car. So I wrapped him up, put him in the car, and he was just doing all fine. He wasn't trying to move or anything. He was just laying in there, trying to get him treated, and hopefully he can rest, save his little, save his little life. It's okay, baby. You're gonna be okay. I was able to get him out of the car and into the little pen. At least he's got shade and nobody's gonna mess with him here. So I grabbed this little water bottle out of the car and figured, well, let me try to give him some water, see if he's going to need some water. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm saving a raccoon. Oh, my God, he was thirsty. Okay, I got you home. You're gonna be safe. Okay? Yeah, I'll get you some food. I hope he makes it. Two days later, I had him. He recuperated so well. So good, this little raccoon. I'm just so happy I had this chance to rescue him. <laughs> so I was trying to find some places where I could send him. I talked to one of the deputies down here. So I said, come look at him. And he couldn't believe how nice he was doing. He said, he doesn't need a rescue group. I said, I know, he's very healthy. <laughs> I feel sad that I'm gonna have to say goodbye to him, but I'm gonna be happy. Goodness, I was able to save little Lucky's life, and he's gonna go to where he needs to be. So say goodbye to Lucky. We'll miss you, Lucky. But we're so grateful for saving him off that road.